What's up everybody? Welcome back to Daily Psalm where every day we're going through one of the Psalms. Here we are on day 128. Psalm 128. A song of ascents. And as I mentioned before, the ascents, it's believed that these Psalms that are a song of ascents, I think there's like 14 of them, are songs that that the people of God were used to sing on their pilgrimage to Jer to Jerusalem, on their way to Jerusalem for the feast days. How blessed is everyone who fears Yahuwah, who walks in His ways. Hallelujah. See, God blesses us for walking in His ways. It comes down to the blessings and the cursings, curses of the law which still apply today if we walk in his ways if we're obedient to him he'll bless us but if we're disobedient he'll curse us how blessed is everyone who fears Yahuwah who walks in his ways when you shall eat the fruit of your hands or labor of your hands you will be happy and it will be well with you Hallelujah. Because God repays us for the things we do. If we give to Him or if we do right, He will reward us. Hallelujah. When you should eat the fruit of your hands, you will be happy and it will be well for you. Well with you. Now this next part in even the whole thing really but specifically this next part is speaking to Jesus it says your wife so the wife of Jesus which if we go to Revelation 19 it says let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to him for the marriage of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready and this is a uh, Speaking about, about the New Jerusalem, which we read in Galatians 4.26, But the Jerusalem above is free. She is our mother. And one of my recent Proverbs studies, uh, I titled The Mother, and talked about how the mother above, that's the Jerusalem above, which is uh, the New Jerusalem which is also Israel but the Jerusalem the earthly Jerusalem or the earthly Israel the earthly Israel which Jerusalem is a part of is uh, Babylon and we read here in Ezekiel 19 well first off let's go back to uh Psalm 128 says, Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. And that's the house of God, which is the New Jerusalem. And we read in Ezekiel 19, Your mother was like a vine in your vineyard, planted by the waters. So the vine, the wife, and the vine is speaking of Israel. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. And we know Israel currently is split up into two parts, which is the northern house of Israel, which uh, prophetically in the end time fulfillment is believers and the southern house of Judah which is the Jews your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house your children like olive plants so the children that's the believers that's the people of God the wife is Israel 
and the children is the people of God. Just like, uh, because we're both, technically, we're basically both the bride. But, you know, with, with uh, people, there's a land. With, with a land, there's people in it, you know? And the wife, the vine, that's uh, referring to the New Jerusalem, which is Israel. And the children is us. Your children, like olive plants, around your table. And the olive plants, if you look up uh, the word in the inter interlinear, it's uh, a transplanted shoot, a slip, referring to the plants. And if you do a Google search on slip, it says slip, a small cutting of a plant as a specimen or for grafting. And we're grafted into Israel as believers. And we read that in a few places. Romans eleven seventeen. but if some of the branches were broken off and you being a wild olive, were grafted in among them, and became partaker with them of the rich root of the olive tree. So, your children like olive plants. Being a wild olive, that's so that's us. We're the olives grafted into the tree. Which is Israel, the wife. Your children are like olive plants around your table. And the table, let me just do look something up. Jesus said in Matthew 8. Verse 11, he said, I say, to you, I say to you that many will come from the east and west and, and recline at the table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. That's for the wedding supper. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house, which is his kingdom, the new Jerusalem. Your children, like olive plants, that's us, around your table. For the wedding supper of the Lamb. Hallelujah. I just pray that I'm found worthy to be there, you know. And Jesus said, pray always that that you'll be accounted worthy to escape all the things that are coming upon this world and to stand before him. So this is speaking of, of Jesus, or speaking to Jesus, your wife. His wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. His children, like olive plants around the table, around his table, because it's his table. Behold, for thus shall the man be blessed who fears Yahuwah. So it's the fear of the Lord. It's the fear of Yah, which is the beginning of knowledge, the beginning of understanding. And it's what brings us to faith. Because that's the that's the law of sin and death. Because once we realize that our sin leads to death, we realize we need a savior and we come to faith. For behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears Yahuwah. That's faith. And through faith, we're able able to enter the kingdom of God. Yahuwah bless you from Zion, which is the same place as his house. The New Jerusalem, Zion. The Israel above. Yeah, Yahuwah bless you from Zion. And may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem, the New Jerusalem, all 
all the days of your life. Indeed, may you see your children's children. And on the basic level understanding of this, you know, uh, it's a blood, like we're blessed, so it says, may you see your children's children. But as we see up here, it's referring, it's speaking to Jesus, speaking to the Son of God. And we read in 1 Corinthians 4.14, so first off, Paul, we know Paul is a child of God. And he says, I do not write these things to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. And in Galatians 4.19, my children, with whom I, I am again in labor until Christ is formed in you. So, in the dual understanding on the deeper level it says indeed referring to speaking to Jesus indeed may you see your children's children the believers his children and the believers that come up under them peace be upon Israel which is ultimately the Israel above the kingdom of God which is coming down out of heaven to earth. Hallelujah. And the kingdom is soon to come. Everything down here is about to be all over soon. We're close to the end. Stay strong, brothers and sisters. The king is soon to come. Let's be ready. Let's spread the word of God. Let's shine our light. Let his light shine through us. So that others may see and come to the light. Because we're more of an example through our actions than we are through our words. Even though words are very powerful. So our actions that show our true character, show our, show who we truly serve. But the time is near. So let's spread the word. Let's shine his light. Let's make sure we're ready. Let's make sure our heart is right with him, because that's what it comes down to, our heart being right. Jesus said you can... In other words, he said, you can commit adultery, or you, or you can not commit adultery, but if you lust after a woman, you've committed adultery in your heart. He said, if you hate a brother in your heart, if you hate somebody, that's committing murder in your heart. So a heart has to be right. We have to have a pure heart. we got to be ready. The King is soon to come. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, call out to Him today. We're living in the last days. You see what's going on in the world. They're in the process of bringing in this new world order, which is the beast kingdom from Daniel 7 and Revelation 13. But before it's set up, before that's fully set up, Jesus comes on the clouds. And the wrath of God comes upon this world. This country is going to be destroyed. Your only chance is Jesus Christ. Call out to him today. We're running out of time. And many, 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 many people are going to die. I just hope you're not one of them. Jesus will save you. He was prophesied about hundreds and thousands of years beforehand and you can calculate the the odds that one person could fulfill even a few even a few prophecies written in the Bible written in the Old Testament and the odds of one person fulfilling even a couple is like it's a crazy number it's beyond comprehension the odds 
but Jesus fulfilled over 300 in his lifetime, proving himself to be the Son of God and who the Bible speaks about. So turn to him. Give your life to Jesus. We're almost out of time. We're living in the last days. Thanks for tuning in. That's the end of Psalm 128. Love you guys. Let's be ready. Shalom.